Yo guys, what is up everyone? Revolts here bringing you guys a brand new video. Today, I got another call here with a pop-up scammer that goes over this entire thing about how my computer is hacked and I have all these viruses and stuff. So today I have, it, it, this is the full entire call of from start to finish of me talking to this pop-up scammer. And when he goes over all this stuff, like I just said, the viruses and everything. And this whole video is literally me just exposing this guy and calling him out for what he is. And that is a scammer and a liar, a con artist that is trying to steal my money. So, yo, I hope you guys like this one. It's a very long highlight over an hour here. So if you do like it, give it a like. And if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, y'all. Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. How can I help you? Yeah, I'm, I'm calling. I got a thing on my computer saying that my access to my computer has been blocked. I'm trying to see what's going on here. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, your computer has been logged that you were going online and your computer has been logged now, right? Yeah, it's saying that access to my computer has been blocked and I'm trying to see what's going on here. Your computer. Okay. Could you tell me, like, what were you doing when your computer got logged up? Uh, I was just trying to go and check uh online and see the news and then all of a sudden this thing comes up uh saying that access to my computer has been blocked saying pc's been blocked for security reasons it's got like an error code here too okay okay just give me one moment okay sure Okay, so what exactly you see there, sir, on your screen? Please tell me again what exactly you see. Has my phone call get transferred? Okay, uh, sir, yes, because no, I don't was, go to uh, that event. The pop-up issue that you had that your computer uh, is having some screen that you cannot close. It's blocking your screen, so that's yeah, why I will help you now. Okay, my name so is I've Gary. Been, okay, mm -hmm. yeah, because it's telling me. Firewall or access mm -hmm. to this PC has been blocked for security reasons. Firewall, okay. All right, so I will definitely check it. Let me ask you a few questions before I go proceed there. Uh, how sure. old this computer is, sir? Um, this one is actually pretty new. I got it last year. I think it's only like six months last old or year. something. Okay. It's not very old at all. It's pretty new. That's good, sir. That's good. Why well, I'm asking you, because if it is just a new computer, it's uh -huh. under warranty, so that even you don't need to pay anything to get it fixed. Well, that's very good. So okay. this has a warranty and, on uh, it? What exactly? Yes, definitely. So when you get the new computer, no matter what computer you have, like yeah. HP computer or Dell computer, you are getting a Windows computer. So that window, that means Windows 10 or Windows 11, when you get it installed, the new one, it's under warranty for next five years. So whatever okay. problem you have, the Windows, uh, Windows support, Windows technicians are going to fix it. If any computer uh, problem is there, we are going to fix it without any cost for the next five years. And even uh -huh. you have the services like this that you can call us once in a month and get it optimized without any extra payment. So that kind of services you are having with us. Okay, now let me ask you a few questions, sir. Please let no, me know your first that. and last name. I, so, which, to proceed there. so I have to pay for a once a month thing, or which? I thought you said I had a warranty. No, no. I said when you buy the new computer, when you purchase it, you already paid for the Windows. The payment was included in that the new computer. Oh, bought. when I bought it. So you don't need to pay. Yeah. So you don't okay. need to pay anything. It will be uh, under warranty for next five years, and you can you need to call us once in a month. That is a part of service that we always let all the customers know. When you buy the computer, you can get it optimized every month without any extra payment. Yeah, so let me proceed. So let me understand what exactly the uh, message you are getting by the firewall. So uh, what exactly you were yeah. uh, uh, opening? What exactly the website you were on when you got this message? Uh, I was just trying to go online and check the news. That's really it. I'd like literally just got on a computer and I was just trying to see what was going on in the news. So I went on, uh, 
I went to Google, and then I went to try and go to the news. Mm -hmm. And I go to go to it, mm -hmm. and then when I click on it, I get this thing here telling me that now I guess I'm blocked from watching the news or something. Okay, please help me with a few details, sir. Yeah. Do you, do you use, uh, do you read news in, in Google or Microsoft Edge? On Google. I always, I always go on, uh, I always go on, go on Google. Okay, all right, that's good. Okay, sir, please yeah. let me know your first and last name. Frank Simmons. Okay, it's Mike, M-I-K-E. Please spell out your last name, sir. Wait, what did you get for the first name? How did you get um, Mike? Is it Mike? M I K? Yes, it's Mike. Okay. Mike Mathers. And, uh, okay, all right, Mike. We'll just go with it. All right, sir. So let me help you with that now. Look at the keyboard. <laughs> I will first we'll just go with how to it. close it because it's a oh, pop gosh. up. And did you try to close it? Did you see any tab that on Red Cross? Uh, did you try to close it there? Uh, no, I haven't tried to close it because it's telling me it, it says that my P, it says PC infected with Trojan type spyware, and then it's got like an error code here. That's why I was, I don't know if I need to give you that or not, or what I'm supposed to do with this error code. Uh, I will just help you with that. So no, don't need to give me the error uh, code. But you, uh, you said that it's a Trojan that you got. It says, to computer, right? Well, it says right here, Windows Defender Security Center, Microsoft Windows Firewaller, PC infected with Trojan type spyware. Uh, then it has that error code. And then under that, it says access to this PC has been blocked for security reasons. That's what I got here. Okay, please provide me the. All right, Mike. Please provide me the error code. Uh, it's two V, seven H, G, T V B, and it's all capitalized too. That's the thing. It's all capitalized. Okay. Okay. All right. I got mm -hmm. it now. Okay. Let me help you with that, sir. Uh, now look at the keyboard on your keyboard, on the left bottom corner. You have. Control, C T R L, control, right? Um, on the keyboard? Yeah. You look at the keyboard, right? Left bottom corner of your keyboard. Yeah, yeah, I do. Control. Okay, and very good. Just next to control, uh, there should be oh, A L T, just third or fourth key. There should be A L T, alt, alt, right? Yeah, I see A L T. You have it there? Elt. You said Elt. Right. Uh, yes. Now okay. let me tell you what exactly you need to do, sir. You need to press three keys together. I like lost my voice. That's for Control, there. Alt, and Delete. You need to alt. press all that three keys simultaneously. Control, Alt, and Delete and delete at the same time right. like i press all of them together or how do i do this yes yeah, so all of them together simultaneously so control alt delete control alt right delete okay right. oh wow something just changed on it do i call how long do i hold these for i'm still holding them how long do i hold just these for? few seconds just few, just press and release. Just can I let go of them now? Them. I'm still holding them. Oh no! Release the keys. Let go. You need to okay. The keys. All right. I let go. Now what? Uh -huh. is, mm -hmm. Well, now the whole screen has went black, and there's like a couple of there's like I guess a menu in the middle of it or something. Okay. There. Very good. I, very good. So you got it that we were yeah. looking for. So do you see a task manager on that options? Do you see task manager? Task manager. Yeah, I do actually. Okay, please click on task manager, sir. Task manager. Oh, something just came up here. 
Okay. All right. So now what we need to do, sir, uh, what we uh, what we need to do, do you have uh, your client ID there? My what? The Windows client ID, do you have that? What? I have no client idea what ID. that is. No problem, we can generate and we need to just connect or we uh, we need to just connect with the computer to find it. Okay, you can client generate ID. it yourself. After that, so we need to have get connected and check what exactly maybe? the problem and how it comes to your computer. And we will fix it. Yes. Sir. So uh, you need to look at the window that you just got open, the task manager. What options you see on it? Is it like file or what exactly the options you have? Uh, there's a lot of stuff. It's like, uh, I don't know. It's like, on the top. I don't understand it. On the it top is. of that. Okay. I Look at the, the top. top. Do you see says... any option like run? It says type the name, uh, type the name, publisher, or PID to search. That's what it says at the very top. Okay. And what exactly do you see there? Do you see on that task manager, run a new task? Do you see that? Run new task. On the top of the... Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. Okay, very good. Very good. Please click on that. You need to click on that. Run new task. Okay. Yeah, you need to just click on that. Oh my gosh. Very it's good. The run box. And after that, you will get a new box open in front of you. That yeah. will be uh, a box. You can type anything like inside that, right? Yes. Just type the name of a program, folder, document. Or internet resource and Windows will yes. open it for you. Yes, very good. You got it. You need to okay. type inside that box www dot www dot fix f i x fix fix f i x M E M like Mike uh, M like Michael E like Echo fix me M E dot I T I like Indiana T like Tango dot I T right and all these are one word no gap between the words no space. Yes. All. So please give it back to me before we proceed. What did you type uh, there? Okay, I got www dot uh, f i x m e dot i t. Is that right? Well, yes, that's right. And no gaps between the words. Now sure. you need to press OK. You need to click on OK. Click on OK. All right. All right, and it will be opening a new page where you can see is what the hell is the this session. Within three seconds, it will why be is there so here. many remote support softwares? Is anybody out there who's thinking of starting a remote support software company? Don't do it. <laughs> okay. Um. Well, I see now. It looks like a website opened up. Like there's no mm -hmm. need for all these fucking the remote support software. I mean, box, shit. Connectwise Control session. just had that thing where like people were getting. Didn't they have that thing where people were using it and getting medical records and shit? Okay. Yeah. It says exactly start so support screen, session. Okay. Very good. You're on the right way. I appreciate you, sir. You're doing it very right. Windows. Okay. You need. You need to click on a start support session. Please click on a start support session. Start support session. Okay. And then you will, okay, within few seconds, you will see a file is downloaded on a right top corner. A new file will be there. Fix me yeah. at client.exe. Do you see that? Fix me it client. 
Yeah. There's like a space between the two, and then right. it says dot exe, right? Uh, it 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 don't it don't matter. So okay. you need to double left click on that file, that exe client file. You need to open it. Double left click on it. Okay. Uh, all right. And it will be asking you, do you want to allow yeah, loading? Okay. Starting application. This is the new computer. It's a six-month-old computer. But as I observe, it's working a little slow. I should not be working this slow. Oh, I will just check for that. So once you get the map. Yes, normally that file don't take that long. It's just a one click and one second okay. that it takes. So once you get any option, like do you want to allow, you need to hit yes. Then you will get your client ID on your screen that you need to give it to me. Yeah, I see. It says client ID. Is that okay. what I give you? Give me that number, sir. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Okay, it says... Yeah, no, it's six. There's no three. Yeah, there's no three. ASMR, I know. People have told me to do that, dude. Maybe I should start. Should I start an ASMR fucking YouTube channel, man? Oh, now I see there's like a, a chat box. Uh, just give me a moment, sir. Let me see. Oh, it went away. Okay, I will just check it, sir. I'm getting connected with your screen now so that I can see what exactly the oh. message you got. Okay. okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, just give me a moment. Yeah. Did you just close the pop up? Okay. What do you do? You tell me. Pop up's down there. Is he gonna open a pop up? Open a pop up, you freaking loser! Click on it, damn it! Oh my! Hello, man. He closed it. Oh no, I didn't close it. It's right here. Why is he not letting me click on it? Wait, is it broken? What the hell? It's broken. So what do you think's wrong with that? Uh, I'm just Broken. observing. So I'm just. I need to do some scans uh, to just check what exactly the website you were on when you got it, and even the computer yeah, is a little on. slow, so it's taking some time. Yeah, uh, I'm just scanning it, sir. Just well, scanning. I got the computer. It's only like six months old. Is it really that slow? Is that like a bad thing uh, for it, yes, or? Sir. No, it could be a few things, sir. I need to check the history because normally uh, the yeah. new computer is not working that slow for the next few years. Okay. So Should I, I have this call be checking it for unintentional the ASMR? Just give me a few, few seconds. Indian see. tech support. <laughs> would this? Do you guys think this call would count as ASMR, or have I yelled too much? Have I been too loud? What do you guys think? I don't know what he did to the Google Chrome, man. It's like he's... Oh, it's all the way down here. It's under the taskbar. That's why. It's, it's all the way down. Like, look, when he clicks on it. It's like all the way off the screen. He dragged it off the screen. You moron. Okay, uh, please leave the mouse. So let me have the control. Uh -oh. Please leave your mouse. Okay. Yeah, let me, yeah, I don't, let me check that. He dragged it all the way off the screen, damn it.
an ASMR filter. The hell's an ASMR filter? No, I'm not. T I'm talking about this call. Yeah, not the last call. I'm talking about this call. Because I know, yeah, we chickened before. I mean, like this specific call that we're on now. Dude, he can't figure it out, man. Can he open a new Google Chrome? Oh, look, it's right there. There it is. Yes, and in between, I'm scanning it, too. Uh, yeah. Let me ask you a few more questions. It's important. Yeah. Uh, this is your personal computer, right? Yeah, it's my personal computer. Okay. Yeah, I opened All it right. for him. And uh, what exactly the use of the computer Important security is? message. Like, uh, is it oh, any your computer has been locked. The computer's like talking now. Your IP address was used without your knowledge Can or you hear that? to visit websites Look, sir, that listen. contains identity theft virus. To unlock the computer, please call Can support immediately. Can you hear immediately. that? Please do not attempt to shut down yeah. or restart oh my gosh, your computer. So loud. Doing that may lead to data loss and identity theft. Can I computer turn lock is aimed to stop illegal down. activity. Jeez, it's so loud. Please call our support I immediately. I will do that. Important do that. security that. message. Can I turn my volume can... down? There we go. It was so loud, sir. That was so loud. It's telling me. I'm, I'm putting volume. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it was so loud. Tell me, like, is the volume? Yeah, I, I turned it down on the speaker, okay. yeah, but it was like telling me important <clears throat> okay, security that's... alert, and it was like a robot talking or something. Yes, that was a pop-up, so that was a message on it. Okay. So let me quickly just see. Just give me a moment. Let me just check a few things. Yeah. I was asking you what exactly the use of this computer that you have. Is it... Uh, oh, my gosh, he... He full screened it again. Work that you do in this computer this or dummy doesn't even know exactly that when he clicks on computer. it at full screen. <laughs> in regular basis. I, I just go I usually check in the news, going online, sometimes maybe on uh I purchase some things sometimes and stuff like that. And then just whatever else I really need it for. Uh but I'll be honest, most of the time I'm just going online checking the news, you know seeing what's going on in the world because i don't got no tv anymore so i gotta check the news online because mm -hmm. i don't gotta i don't got cable no oh. more because yeah that means you don't do any kind of professional work in this computer right uh no no i don't use this for work at all no this is it's completely i only use it for my myself and on for the computer you know okay that's i got it i got it yeah and how many devices you have in this computer, sir? Uh, like a huh? Device that you, you said how many on. devices do Internet I have device. in the computer? No, no. How many devices, <laughs> the Internet devices, what? like your cell phone, uh, 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 online going, uh, yeah, how many devices you have? Well, I got a, um, I do got a phone. But I don't use it on the internet. I don't. I don't even know if it can go on the internet. And then I got uh, the. I do have an iPad, but I don't use it. It's only used for when the grandkids come over. That's all. That's the only. That's what we got it for. So I don't actually use it. Uh, so I really only use the computer. Uh, okay. So I'd say all that's right. probably the only thing. All right. Sir. All right, just let me check a few things, then I will fix it right now for you. Just give me a moment. Yeah, okay. And did you get uh, this kind of message, like your system is getting blocked or any kind of okay, message like 49. this, before today? Did you get any message, what did any pop-up before today? Uh, no. This is the first time I've seen anything like this. And I've had this computer for six months okay. now. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, sir. Let and me just says, check it. Just give me a moment. What is going on in the chat, man? Oh, all the oh the devices in the computer. I forgot there's like a delay on the stream. Yeah, uh SSD, RAM, graphic card. Graphic card, because people get mad if you say graphics card. No, it's a graphic card. 
M dot twos. We got M dot twos and M dot threes, man. I tell you what. Okay, you see that on your screen, sir, because uh, yes. why oh, I was wow. just asking you some questions. So your computer is trying to send you this kind of uh -huh. warnings. Even several five or six times today, you see the dates. Actually, what exactly the date is? Yeah, that is a today's date. Oh okay. yeah, that's today. Five time today. Five time today, sir. Five Holy time today. Crap. And even even it was a, a one month back, seventh of March. It tried to send you that kind of messages, the warnings. Uh -huh. Why the computer is sending the warning, sir? What exactly the situation is when the computer is sending you the wires, uh, the warnings and errors? Because at yeah. that time, your computer is getting some kind of huge damage. And even today, it was the same case. That's why the help number popped up on your screen. And you called us to get it fixed. Uh -huh. So that is why I'm just let wondered that why did not you get uh, that pop-up to get it fixed before because your computer is fixed with the windows firewall okay. and windows firewall is something that is inbuilt in all the window computer to help the customers like today you got a message by windows firewall to call the windows support and get it fixed uh -huh. your computer send you that same message to call the Windows support and get it fixed several times last month. Well, this, month of March, but this is the only time I've ever seen anything like this. I ain't never. This is the only time I've seen any, any, anything like this. You know, come up on my screen like that. that but, yes, that's so why you're I'm saying it's been going for over a month. Is, you see the dates, sir. I'm just checking in front of you. You see the dates when the warnings and yeah, error I see warning were there on your error. Computer? One says critical. I seen a someone say critical the crit there. Yeah, yeah. The critical warning is a very serious warning, sir. That Windows firewall instantly pop up the support number on your computer. What is critical? As you did mean? not get any message for. Critical, some kind of very danger uh, virus or any any attempt to damage your windows, or that is a very critical warning. Is something that uh, also is warning you. The firewall is warning you about okay. uh, the threat. But the critical, the critical warning is something very serious. That means some damage has been already made. When uh, it, any damage already made on the computer, then you get a critical warning. Critical warning is something very serious that you need to take a serious action on it and even it was one month before so i have to check the history what exactly it's coming from it just give like me a just keep going and then. let me ask you one I guess yes i see that so even it's coming you from this is what, three months ago oh down. look at all of that error error oh error my God. oh my so let what does this mean does this mean i have now? to Return the computer or or something or what? What does this all no, mean here? No, it, it um, sir. There's a very simple meaning of it. Let me make you understand why this message is. Even you see that that's coming from month of January to your computer. It's almost three months, right? And your computer is just six oh, months yes, old. Yes, three months. And you are getting this. So the, let me tell you what is scenario. What exactly it is showing on your yeah. screen? It says that your computer was getting support. That means indoor support is already there. Your computer is under warranty with the Microsoft. Uh -huh. So even it was not going to cost you anything if you had called us three months back. But you said you did not get any masses to call us. So no. let me tell you this what is exactly the first time I ever expected. seen any like anything like this come up mm -hmm. on the screen. I I ain't never seen nothing else no like problem. this Luckily, come up on the computer screen, you know? If, first time I seen if, this. If that's, even that even Mr. Mike, that's a kind of good thing because you got it yeah. on your screen now. I almost and you forgot. Us, my and my we fake name is Mike the right now. So that's a good thing that you did. I almost forgot. But in the meantime, what exactly it is, yeah. sir, it's showing me something that last three months, why your computer is getting this kind of warnings, yeah. what exactly is happening. You said you normally use the computer for uh, getting news and uh, yeah. kind of uh, online Normal things that you use in this computer. Mostly, right? I'll, I'll be, you know, most of the time, especially if it's in the morning, 
like now I like to go on the news and check what's going on with the news. Um, most of the time, yeah. I need to yes. check the website. So what website? News. No problem. I will help you, sir. Okay, now, I just you give me, one so click on it. And in case if the call yeah. is disconnect. Because I didn't know nothing about none of this, and I guess this is coming so much. I mean, how many of those how many errors are there? Because it looks like it just keeps going uh, and going and going. Yo, no, Kimmy no. with the Look gifted the screen, sub. You Yo, thank you, man. 459 errors and warnings. You see that on your screen? 459. 459. <clears throat> oh yeah, the God. number of events is 459. So that's how many even times your computer, that it's tried to tell me? Right. Even you oh see that, sir, your computer was getting virus for more than 3,276. 3,000? That's the exact number that your computer was getting. So, does, wait, yes, does that mean the computer's got like 3,000 viruses on it? Uh, not the viruses, sir, but 3,000 no. times it was getting some alerts, some kind of uh, warnings. So I need to check it, sir. Now Holy it's going to be Let me first check what is uh, there. That's a lot. And this is not the computer thing, so let me first, let me first yeah. make you sure. This errors and warnings is not just a uh -huh. computer thing, okay? Because, because as yeah. I check on your screen, you see... I'm checking that some of the services, you see what I, I have open, I open uh -huh. system configuration. This is your computer system and internet system. Yeah. And as I check in it, there's a lot of services that uh -huh. is, is stopped, right? So Stop. let me see which exactly is running. Yes. Uh, do you see services status? I'm highlighting it for you. The status of the services. Oh, and yeah, this is okay. not just the computer. This is the router. Your router service, that means the internet. Stop. Router is something your internet. So this is not showing you only the He's computer services. The He's services talking through it, though. Stop for your internet and bit oh locker or it's installer. Like that means it could be your Just cough, dude. Level. Holy shit. It could be your phone services. It could be computer <laughs> and Wi-Fi also. So this, the it's scanning and thing is not for the computer. So we cannot say this is a computer oh, this problem. this is frustrating. Let me just check a few things again. Yeah. The more thing I need to scan because when I'm scanning it, I'm getting a lot of things that I was not expecting. Okay. So let me just check it once more. So what does that yeah, mean for the computer? And it, <clears throat> I'll just finally check it and I'll tell you, sir. My but before gosh, that, I need to ask you one more question. Uh, the yeah. Wi-Fi, the internet that you are using your computer, do uh, you have any uh, password? Do you share your Wi-Fi password with your neighbors, your friend, any one of them? Do you share your password with them, the Wi-Fi password? Uh, no. No, you don't say that. Okay, it's a good thing. All right, just give me a moment, sir. Okay. I see a, like a black box just came up on the screen. All right, let me scan it a few more things, sir, because as more I'm scanning, as more the things I'm getting that is uh, we need to fix. So let me scan all the things before we start fixing it, okay? Just give me a moment. As you told me that you did not share your password with anyone, uh, your neighbors Never. or anyone, friends or anyone, you did the only right, thing okay. I get a password Very for good. is the iPad when the grandkids come over. Uh, That's not matter, so you don't... You don't yeah, matter. so I don't... Because right, they do go ahead. on the internet, but this only on the iPad. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Okay. Sir, when I scanned the internet now, uh, my question that was relevant to this, you said that you don't share your password with anyone. 
But mm -hmm. as I see, that was a huge number. 3,000 times of warnings was not yeah. normal, okay? That That's was why crazy. And the That's internet a lot. Connection. And even this is more crazy, sir. You see on your screen what I'm highlighting? More crazy. It said current connection, current connection on your home is 15. And you said you have only three devices that you connect with your internet. Absolutely. So, and it's... But it says your current connection on your internet is 15 devices. 15 devices are using your internet. Okay. I have to just check on it. Okay. Sir, uh, let me ask you this, and you need to tell me the truth. Uh, you said that uh -huh. you are using this computer for reading news. You don't do online, online shopping. That means do you visit foreign websites? like any kind of website that is not in your country, any Canadian websites or Mexican websites. Foreign websites? Website. Do you see any? Yeah. Any kind of shopping that you do from foreign websites, like Alibaba is kind of uh, or no, internet used, websites that you use. So uh, no, I've used eBay. eBay is the U.S. one, so that is some of the... United States websites. That's safe. That's not the foreign websites. Okay. But your computer says that this is foreign address. You see, when I check the 15 connections, what exactly the 15 connections are, uh -huh. it says these are foreign address. You see that on your screen? Foreign address. Oh, it's, yeah, there's like a red thing going around it now. Yeah, so these are the foreign address and all these are established on your computer that was the reason your computer was sending the warnings and error even the 3000 times the computer okay. the windows tries to make you aware alert that this is something suspicious okay, okay. now let me just check it what exactly that is from there oh, it's where the address is there so what is established me no, just give me I need to check. Establish that means sir, that they, uh -huh. that foreign address are connected to your internet. They are using your internet. They could be using your computer address or IP anything. Let me scan, then I can tell you, sir. Without scanning, I cannot say anything. So just give me a moment. Okay. Let me first make sure before I, before I tell anything to you. I need to make it sure. Okay. Just give me a moment. Sure. Yeah. Oh man, guys, the the foreign hackers. What do you guys think is going to come up on this scan, man? What do you guys think is going to come up on this scan that stopped? And I don't think you realized that it stopped. Let's see if he's is he even going to say anything. It's It stopped. He's not saying anything. Is he just not going to say anything at all? All right, just give me a few seconds, sir. I'm just scanning it, so give me a few seconds. Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, it's completely stopped. Literally, literally completely stopped. It's the, uh, is he going to, like, is he going to say anything? Or is he just going to write anything? <laughs> just... Is it, oh he's running it again. There we go. Jeez. Scan shows me I have files. I know. Oh gosh. Guys, there's files on my computer. I'm being hacked. There's files on the computer, guys. I'm being hacked. What am I supposed to do? Look at that scan go. Did he even, did he CD? Did he go to the, did he go back a directory? Or is he still in the same directory? Look how fast it's going, man. This is how, this is how you tell your computer has some speed, man. No, he's still in the same fucking directory. He didn't even go back. He didn't CD dot dot, man. So is this guy fucking new or something, man? Where's the CD dot dot? 
man. Come on, dude. There he goes. He's doing it again. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. He's typing it out. <laughs> uh, he's typing okay, it out. you see there, sir? Um, I scanned for the yeah. foreign addresses one by one. Uh, two of them was just unknown address. But sure. One of them I got, and it was from China. You see that? Uh, so, do you know Chinese are, language? Do you visit Chinese news? China? So, yes, but let me ask you this, sir, because that is something weird. Do you know Chinese language? Do you understand Chinese language? Did you ever uh, visit I do not speak Mandarin now. China? Do you read Chinese news websites, sir? No, not at all. Okay, then your connections, the internet connections that I checked, it was from China, sir. I need to just check one more thing, then I will start fixing it, sir. It's getting more scans, are giving me more results on it, sir. So, okay. just, my God. So is, is this like a really bad worry. issue? Yeah, this a, sounds really a, bad. Uh, sir, even... even this kind of cases we rarely get, sir, because this is a foreign connection. Normally, customers call us uh -huh. when they get the warning. They call us in the first attempt. Even customers are expected to call us every month. Even they have no problem. Are they you are supposed to, to call every do this month. every month? The optimization and tune-up of the computer that you can done or I've, you can get done by the Windows yeah. support calling us directly. Without any extra payment, that's not cost. Because I've anything. had this computer for so six months now. So that, what does that uh, mean for this here? Uh, sir, that's that. I think, sir, on that internet, you got connections. The fifteen connections are there. But in the meantime, what I'm telling you, you should not get worried, sir, because yeah. your computer is under warranty. But you need to follow one thing okay, from so next month. So it's still month, under warranty, every, though. So it's a is is exactly. this a fixable issue or is this an issue yeah. where it's yeah. looking like no, I'm gonna have to buy a new no. computer? That's what I'm trying to see here. No, no, you don't need to. You don't need to buy a new computer, sir. All that is who we are going to fix. Uh -huh. That's why we are expert of it, and we are going to fix all the issues that you have. But in the meantime, okay. I'm just filing a case now because I need to mention when i'm fixing it i need to mention what kind of damage it was there yes mm -hmm. i see your computer was connected with with foreign address i need to mention in a case mm -hmm. that the foreign address the established connection was one of that was from china even the customer did not use any website of the china uh -huh. so all that i need to mention when i'm in the case detail i need to mention it okay let me do one more okay. answer, as you said that you uh, Normally use it for regular users, so I need to scan it once more. Just give me a moment. Okay. Yeah, I see this uh, thing keeps going, and it's just like flying by so quick. I guess going. I don't I even understand. It's like it's like uh, the movies, you know. It's like oh my gosh, I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> Right. It's, sir, actually, this is scanning all the history for the last six months. That's why it's taking some time. Yeah. It's, it's doing a deep scan of it. Deep scan of it. Deep scan. So that's why okay. it was important to get it done. Right. Okay. Cool. It's a deep scan, guys. He's going in. He's going in like the deep. Uh, just give me a moment. Yo, R.I.P., man, to the... To the Gen V actor. That fucking sucks, man. For anyone who watches the boys. He's scanning it, though, man. He's scanning it hardcore.
We're getting all up in the computer, man. All up in there, seeing what's going on. And uh, let me ask you a few more questions. So now I'm uh, scanning it for last six month history on it. Uh -huh. In the meantime, as I checked, oh you see goodness. that what Thank exactly it says, sir? The foreign connections was trying to Thank get you your details. ID from this computer. I don't know what exactly they were looking for, but it says that they were looking for your ID and why the is, bank details. So do you do on online okay, shopping just on your tablet, on, on your phone, or any anyone? Oh, I see there. Online. It says banking details, yeah. banking details. Banking details. I Even see that, see yeah. That, that yo, Kimmy a, with the five gifted subs. Yo, thank command, you, man. So banking details. Yo, thank you for the five gifted get subs. Get from your computer or internet. It. And also, in the meantime, Dude, they today's were been like a super chill stream so far, hasn't it? I saw they were looking for your ID. Uh, like it could be your social Thank number you, or anything, any ID. Bring it up that. For. Dang, we're already at 13 subs on the stream, details. man. And Thank you guys. Much appreciated, man. Banking details got compromised. That means oh, wow. you do online stopping, all kind of stuff. It could be on your phone. It could be on your tablet. I do it could see be it any says device that. that you use. Yeah. So do you do online could, okay, which, I got a question do, here do you, now. I don't know if this is going to sound dumb or not. Could this be because of that iPad that I let the grandkids use? It could be, sir. Because I, uh, sir, it, it could be. We we have to... Mm. Uh, we cannot specify that for now because it will be taking some time yeah. to get it fixed and specify the reason. But yes, okay. there is a high probability because... That two devices that only you use. The computer uh -huh. that is only getting used by you. Phone is getting used by you only. But your tablet, your grandson is also using when they are coming to your home. Mind yeah, they, have we, made they some can do. And they, yeah, we. I just pretty much put in a password, and they can do whatever they want. You know. So. Yeah, that is could that could be the reason. So that could be the reason because might be they have downloaded any unwanted stuff. On, by the uh, by online websites and it uh -huh. now they have uh, international access of your device some bad guys could oh, be because uh, the genuine websites have access let me so ask you this what i need to bring the people. ipad to the apple store to see that or nah, we will fix it sir we will fix it okay we will fix it and let me ask you this, sir. Sure. Do you do online shopping on any one of these devices, on your phone, tablet, um, or computer? Sometimes it, I've done shopping online. Um, and, yeah, sometimes. And okay. Not very often, though. Because online say, shopping... Not very I, often. I do understand, but it, even one time could be risky, sir. Now let me oh. tell you why I'm asking you this. Because Shopping online even details, one time can be risky. Is stolen. That means they See? could be, uh, they could, uh, they could guard that all the details now. When you do online shopping, you put yeah. online card details on it. You put all the details. Oh yeah. Do you yeah. do online banking as well? Anyone your device like on your phone uh, or tablet or this computer? Do you do I online banking? I think I have before. Yeah. A lot of times I usually like to call, and I call them and ask them. Mm -hmm. uh, like my, the calling to check them is my not balance that, uh, and, that we are getting stuff. checked. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Sir, calling is mm -hmm. not a threat. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about the calling the bank is not a threat. Mm -hmm. But you used online banking on okay. your phone or in this computer. That was um, the thing that I'm a little mm -hmm. worried. Mm -hmm. Let me do let me do one okay. thing, sir. As mm -hmm. I'm connected with this computer, mm -hmm. what I have done, I have secured yeah. by the firewall this mm -hmm. computer this computer is safe mm -hmm. now in the connection is safe your phone oh, line as you are good. talking to okay. me mm -hmm. it could be that they could, they could it could happen that mm -hmm. they have uh, mm -hmm. uh linked your uh, they have also have the access of your phone mm -hmm. call so what i'm going to do mm -hmm. i have protected okay. this line encrypted line you are talking to me 
line. What does that mean? The computer is going to You said encrypt. Or what? You know. Okay. Mm -hmm. Encrypted. What? Okay. I have no idea so what that what even means. I will explain to you. I will send you my mic. Mm -hmm. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going out of your computer for a while. Okay. okay. Because I just want to make sure that everything is good. You need to check everything on this computer of your banking that everything is good. First, let me go out of your screen because I'm not allowed to look at the screen when you are checking your personal. Oh, okay. So okay? I'm going out of the mm -hmm. out of the computer, and I will mm -hmm. be on a call with you. Once you say that I'm done, I close the banking page, then I will come mm -hmm. back to the computer. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, open Google Chrome. Go to your bank. Check the transactions, mm -hmm. last transactions, or any transaction between last 15 to 20 days. Mm -hmm. If any transaction is there that you made and it mm -hmm. appeared on your bank, mm -hmm. then I will file mm -hmm. a complaint of it. So please go mm -hmm. ahead. I'm disconnected from your screen. Oh, I don't have access. Mm -hmm. Please go ahead and check your bank right mm -hmm. now. Okay. Yeah, let me look. Let me see. So what am I checking for exactly? Like if it's just a your balance, charge or... Is there something specific I'm looking mean. for? Yeah. Yes, let me tell you, Mr. Mike, what you are checking. First of all, you need to check it in this computer only because that is connected to our tools. So it's, this is the only, to, the only device that is safe now to check. Okay. That. Second, you are going to check your balance. If the balance is okay, you need to check your last transactions, like if any unknown transaction is there that you did not make. You need to check all that. The balance is good. No, no amount is deducted. And no transaction is there that you did not authorize. Any unauthorized transaction is not on your statement. So please go ahead. Use the mouse. You have the access now. I'm out of the computer. Please use it and check all the things and let me know. I need to fill it in the case details that everything is good. If any unknown transaction you see that you did not authorize or you don't know what transaction it is, I need to uh, uh, file a complaint of it with my end. Uh, so please go ahead, use the mouse, and check it right now, sir. Okay. Yeah, let me check here. Yeah, please get it done. Okay. Um, okay. So, I, hello? Yes, so, I have a call with you, sir. I have a a, a, a question here. Um, mm -hmm. me, sir. Hello? Yes, I'm here, Mr. Mike. So I have a question. If I click all these things here. Uh, sir, I'm not on your screen now because I just connection so i'm not looking at your screen oh. um, because you are going to check your bank so i have disconnected myself for a while so i don't see the screen now okay um well essentially my yes. my well can i ask you another question now yes please ask me sir um so you said you can't see the screen or you can see the screen no, I'm not connected. I disconnected myself because I'm not allowed to look at any confidential details because it could be required to fill the passwords on it or lo log in the bank. So I'm not oh, allowed. Oh, yeah, because the bank usually does. To look yeah, they usually yeah. ask me so for a password I when I log in on the bank. And that could so, be the reason. I will just check uh -huh. it and make mm -hmm. So is, this, is, it, is the bank page going to be safe? from in this computer is safe sir because my tools are running uh, i just activated the uh -huh. firewall fire alarm and i have checked is it connected to my tools now so definitely this computer is safe i'm not uh, sure about the phone and tablet for now i need to check and work on it uh -huh. but this computer is safe now so okay. i request you to just check it this and let me know after that so that i can uh, Connect back to you. You need to give me that. So I just idea tell again. you if I so, see like uh, I, I have to tell everything you everything is safe, right? So I have to give you the right. 
client ID again. Okay. And I have to tell you if there's any yeah, like so weird can... charges on the bank account, essentially, that I don't yeah. recognize yeah. from my regular yeah. bank activity. Mm. So I have exactly. a question that here. So you, any you told me there's viruses and stuff on the computer, and uh, but I just went and did a proper antivirus scan with the included Windows Defender here, mm -hmm. and it says that there is no mm -hmm. viruses. It says no current threats. Okay, sir, that is not the Windows firewall, actually. Uh -huh. That was attempt in your network, right? Uh -huh. when you scan well, we can it, do that, too. Uh, so the if Windows I go secure. here and I click on this, uh, it says that uh, uh, right here the Windows just... firewall is on. Mm -hmm. Windows Defender firewall is on for all three profiles. Mm -hmm. Right. That's why you got the message, because if your Windows firewall was not on, you did not get that message on your screen to call the support. Your you firewall just said it was on. That's why you got the message. And then you said no, you weren't your firewall is on, sir. viewing my screen, but it mm -hmm. says right here that you're still connected to my screen. Uh, what exactly you see, sir? Where do you reading that? Right here. It says connected to your computer. Uh, can you tell me the page name? Fixme.it. Uh, what it right exactly there. the page is saying? Fixme. Yes, Fixme.id. Yeah. Right. Let me tell you, sir. And then, uh, the Fixme.it uh -huh. is a tool. Yeah. Sir, fixme.it is a tool that is fixing. That means, as I told you, uh -huh. when you are connected with my tools, the fixing tools, your computer is safe. This is one of the tools that we use, right? So fixme IT is a tool that is protecting your computer when you are when I'm connecting with you. That's why your computer is safe now. Yeah. Okay? So that's why it is. So you went here to where did you go? You went to application? Is this the one you went into? Uh, sir, or do you want me to connect back to you and show you that? Yeah, can you connect it back to me and show me all the errors and warnings? Yes, I can, sir. Uh, let me just do there. Can you do one thing, sir? Can you open the Google Chrome once more? You want to check the other one? You want me to open? Okay. Do you remember the client ID, sir? I'm back on Google Chrome. Okay. Can you give me the client ID, sir? I already gave it to you. Uh, he's pretending uh, no, that I'm not that he's one. not okay. connected. It clearly says that he's Chrome, viewing my computer. On the right side of your screen, uh -huh. uh, there was an arrow. Okay. Please uh, click on that down arrow. Uh huh. Sir, can you stop pretending that you're not viewing my screen right now? Uh, sir, I'm not. What exactly is you, it? You're, I just tried. Do you see the file that I just sent to you? It says uh, right here that you're, yet, you're connected you to my computer. There's no log in here of you disconnecting. Sir, I am not connected, but in the meantime, the Fix Me tool is there, right? You this just canceled the, the transfer. It says right here, it shows in the logs that what? you just canceled the transfer of the image. It says it right here. What exactly your transfer? This image that I sent you. This picture here, you can see me sending it. Sir, I'm not looking on it, the screen. Let me get connected again so that I can tell you, sir. Please but you're already connected. connected. Please go to the... Okay, Mr. Mike, I'm not connected yet, but I will be connected. You need to go to the Google again so that I can show you what exactly... You I'm just hovered about. the mouse over the start to... button. I saw that. Dude, stop. <laughs> I've already exposed your scam, man. I mean, you're going into CMD, you're typing all this in. It clearly says right here, banking is not a recognized as an internal or external command. It says it right here that you're just typing this in and it's not actually any sort of output from anything. There's no program running. You're just listing all the files and directories on the computer. You're not even actually scanning anything. I can go here and type tree and do the same thing. 
See, look. Oh, wow. I've scanned the file. Look, I just uh, sir, scanned I my desktop page. Get... Oh, my gosh. <laughs> let me get connected. I, dude, you're... Why are you lying? I literally saw you move the mouse just now. Why Why won't okay, you just so let me get... admit to the fact that you're scamming? You're connected to me. Sir. Okay, how do I get you reconnected? Do, uh, connect okay, let's do that. How do I get you reconnected uh, you then? Go to... I'll go to the Google again, sir. Go to Google. Okay, I'm going to go to Google. I'm on Google. Mm -hmm. On the Google, you need to open the downloads. I need to go to downloads. Okay. I'm on the downloads. Okay. On that downloads, there should be the file that you downloaded, the fix me client. Fix me client. You want me yes. to go Once on this you open again? It, you will be getting a new. Okay. Client. Yes, sir. Let me open it. So now I'm opening another instance of this program. Okay. It's opening now. Now it's opening. Okay. Okay. It's opened here and now I have yet another client ID. Okay. Give me the number, sir. Okay. The number here. That's the ID. Sure. So now I have two connected to me. So what do we do now? Okay, yes, now I'm connected back to you. You can see that, sir. Fix me is connected now. Okay. So please ask me what exactly you were uh, asking you me that where the what this says is right the here. Can you read this right here? Okay. For me? Out loud? Can you read Let it out loud? Let me go to... Uh... Mm -hmm. Yeah, can okay. you read it out loud? Uh, the current test that you're talking about? Yeah. Can you read what that test, says? Right? right here? Okay. Sir, I... Uh, I see that what it said, sir. But this is not what, a computer what wireless does this that you say? can get scanned by the Microsoft Security. So this is your computer, right? What I showed you is I already told you that this is not the computer. If anything that is on your network, how can the computer can scan on it, the network? Right? So what so I so you're saying? You that, yes. Okay. A virus was downloaded on an iPad. Completely different operating system. Mm -hmm. Not was transferred over the network infected this fully updated Windows 11 machine and is undetectable. Sir, the, the tablet, the tablet. The yeah, that's what you said, from the iPad. Computer. You're saying it went from the iPad All and that jumped. So it's infected multiple. Sir, my my the, phone's an Android phone. So you're saying a virus infected okay. three different operating systems? And did that all over the network? What I, what I said, sir, someone having the uh, access of your internet now, right? Internet is the same internet that you are okay. using all the time. So devices. they're not. So the computer devices, isn't infected. It's the internet that's infected. Is that okay, what you're sir, saying? Let me tell you. If you want me to fix it. Well, can you just you explain that it, point? That's what I'm not understanding. I'm trying to understand. No, no. Let me, Mr. Mr. Mike, I already explained to you all the things, but now you said that I'm scamming you. I already well, told you, you that. I'm just trying to clarify. You You're saying the internet's infected or the computer? The network's infected? Yes. Okay. Okay. Sir, Let I me show you something. So if I go to Wells Fargo, like, look, if we go to Wells mm -hmm. Fargo, right? Um, and we sir, go I'm to the to, official so website. Please don't open the. Do you see what this says right here? Connection is secure. Certificate valid. Do you see this? Where? Right here. Do you see mm -hmm. all this? This is because this website is secured with right. HTTPS. It's encrypted. Right. All the data that goes from you to this website 
is encrypted. It's not in plain text. So even if somebody was literally sitting in my house with another computer monitoring all the traffic on the network, there is no way by them just monitoring that traffic that they would get any sort of username or password login information from me going onto this website. Uh, Are you telling so me somebody has a zero day vulnerability well, in the HTTPS protocol that they can go through and just watch anybody's stuff and decrypt everything on the fly and see exactly what everybody's doing? Just making so HTTPS completely happening. useful? And for some reason, this state sponsored actor yeah. is going and targeting me? Sir, it's From happening China? nowadays. Now it's up to you. The virus. Yes, if you got that, if you want me to fix it, it's up to you. So I already well, told I'm you just that trying to clarify. It. So and you're telling me that they can, that they're decrypting this HTTPS traffic, and that's how they're getting my username and password. Okay, Mr. Mike. Um, I'm trying to clarify. To help you if you want to get it. Fixed. Oh, I want help. So you're not trying to clarify us. Yeah, I want help. I want help. Mm -hmm. If you can help me, I want help. But I'm just trying to understand here how they're getting my username and, and uh, password when my computer's not infected at all, no. but they're monitoring my network, even though I'm connected on an HTTPS secured website where all my traffic going between me and this website is already encrypted. Yes, that all the normal users are just assuming that same but in the same time we are getting handed of the cases well, it's, every day it's right that here you can see that it's they're running out secure i can't even if i try there to connect with http is, it's yes. just going to automatically send it to https uh -huh. you can't even mistakenly do it it won't even let you connect to this website over http so how are they sure. how are they getting yes. my information this is this is same for all the users, right? And even after that, handed over. So this can happen to everybody. Every that they got it's happening every day, sir. We are getting a lot of huge numbers of complaints that they got compromised. Someone installing the amount, and they were not using the banking on that time. The money was went out. Even not only us, the banking has the same kind of complaints every day. The same website for everyone. This is not if, uh, the website is created for you only, right? The same so the Wells bank, Fargo has some of sort of honor. Every bank has this vulnerability, but you said every bank, sir, I'm not, not just I'm Wells not Fargo. Able, I'm not able to help you with that. Okay. It's because you're a scammer, man. You're a coward loser. You don't do real tech support. That's all you are. It's up to you, sir. You you're an Indian to... scammer. If uh, <laughs> you're a loser, man. You're fake tech support. You don't know anything that you're talking about. I bet you can't even understand what HTTPS is. You don't even understand how that works. I can go on the Starbucks Wi-Fi, wi and I'd be perfectly fine logging into my bank account. Okay, I just give one Because it's all already it. encrypted and secured. I could go to any public Wi-Fi, and I wouldn't care. Because it's it's secured. If I'm going through the freaking banking app, it's all secured. What do you? What is your? You don't have anything to explain this. You're just saying, oh, this happens all the time. How does it happen? Explain it. Okay, I just Are give one gone? click on it. We just turned caps lock on. Mike, it's up explain. To you. I Yo, repeat with the two here. gifted subs. It's Thank you, man. I mean, I, honestly, what I want you to do now is just admit that you're scamming people. So it's up to I've you completely you explained you everything you. away that you told me. I've explained it all away. You have nothing to stand on. I, I you're just a, being a coward. Is this what you're going to do? You're just going to be a coward? You're not going to own up to the fact that you just got exposed for being a scammer? Oh, is he gone? Oh. <laughs> He's gone. You can still... You can see it's... 
He's got me connected twice with these programs here. Yeah, so he hung up on me. Like, my gosh, man. <laughs> my gosh, and this is what this is what's so annoying about these VPN ads, too. I feel like people, scam victims, see these ads about VPNs and encryption and protecting their online privacy and doing all this stuff. And then they hear a scammer say all this stuff about encryption. They're like, oh, that must be true because all these VPN companies are doing the same thing. Dude, it's, you're, it's already encrypted, man. You don't need a VPN on your computer to, in, to, to what? Encrypted twice over the fact? <laughs> and then what you're just sending all that data to the vpn servers that they control instead of your isp a random company that controls all these servers you have no idea how they're set up or anything <laughs>